Hi everyone and welcome to episode 8 of the Y series. As I mentioned in episode 7, in today's episode we are going to talk about nasal breathing. So breathing through your nose might feel strange during exercise, especially if you are used to breathing through your mouth, but remember that the nose is made for breathing and nasal breathing ensures a number of benefits that are essential not only for good health but also for improved sports performance. It helps with filtering, warming and humidifying air before it is drawn into the lungs, reducing the heart rate, bringing nitric oxide into the lungs to open airways and blood vessels, better oxygen delivery throughout the body and reduced lactic acid as more oxygen is delivered to working muscles. Just to show you how important nasal breathing is, here is a brief list of effects of mild breathing. So, mild breathing children are at greater risk of developing forward head posture and reduced respiratory strength. Breathing through the mouth contributes to general dehydration. A dry mouth also increases the acidification of the mouth and results in more dental cavities and gum disease. Mild breathing causes bad breath due to altered bacterial flora and breathing through the mouth has been proven to significantly increase the number of occurrences of snoring and obstructive sleep apnea. So, since nasal breathing imposes approximately 50% more resistance to the airstream in normal individuals than does mouth breathing, this will result in 10-20% to more O2 uptake. Instead of spending your money on high altitude training masks, just close your mouth during physical exercise and only use your nose for breathing. Trust me, it sounds easy, it sounds really stupid, but if you're someone who is used to breathing through the mouth, this will be a challenge for you. So since episode 7 was about high altitude masks, here is an easy way to get the benefits from high altitude training. Altitude training is a tactic many elite endurance athletes use to gain a competitive edge. One way of tapping into your body's natural resources is to purposely expose yourself to reduced oxygen intake for a short period of time. This will improve your blood's oxygen carrying capacity and also increases the maximum volume of oxygen that an athlete can use, known as your VO2 max. At high altitude the air is thin, which results in the reduced atmospheric pressure of oxygen. The body adapts to this environment by increasing the number of red blood cells. Upping the presence of red blood cells translates into improved oxygen delivery to the muscles, a reduction of lactic acid buildup, stronger overall performance, longer endurance, and lower risk of inflammation and injury. Breath hold training exercises provide simple ways to simulate the beneficial effects of high altitude training and high intensity training while allowing you to exercise in your usual way. Each exercise provides both a hypoxic, so lack of oxygen, and a hypercapnic, high carbon dioxide response. Combining these two effects produces important changes in the body such as lowering sensitivity to carbon dioxide, increasing endurance, reducing discomfort and fatigue from lactic acid buildup, increasing the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood, improving breathing economy and improving VO2 max. Breath holding can also be incorporated into your jog or bike ride. While you may not be able to hold your breath for as many paces during a jog as you can during a walk, the quality of the exercise will be better because of the greater accumulation of carbon dioxide in the blood. High altitude may also contribute to weight loss. So, walking or jogging with nasal breathing allows the body to work with oxygen, aerobic, while incorporating breath holds every minute or so makes the body work without oxygen and aerobic. So to finish today's episode, I just want to tell you guys that all you need to focus on is nasal breathing and to incorporate some breath holds nothing more so you don't need to spend your money on high altitude training masks that's all so thank you guys for listening see you on the next episode